Hey, what up guys? It's sick and today we're gonna do the MQ2 Paladin video. Now I mentioned in the Necro video yesterday some of the reasons why uh, we haven't released anything in uh, in a few months um, and just some you know various details on uh, all the various stuff happening macro quest and everquest specifically uh but we want to get uh paladin and necromancer out um and uh so i'm gonna do a video now the necromancer video i went through all of the frequently asked questions and it was like 43 minutes i'm not gonna spend that long on paladin uh, but I'm going to go through all the options and uh, go through a couple of frequent last questions and just some important stuff. Now, again, so today is Thursday, September 22nd. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get this in uh, either today or tomorrow into the build. Um, this will be a premium plugin uh, in a few weeks. It will be just included in the very vanilla um, for anybody to try it out. Um, and then as always, the, uh, chat with the same class plugins are included on the test server build for red guides, very vanilla. So let's hop into this bad boy right here. All right. So this is what our MQ2 Paladin, uh, UI window looks like. I got it nice and big so we can see all the options and, uh, let's go through these. So we have the main stuff, um, uh, that any of the chat with this name class plugins have if you haven't used the chat with this name class plugin before definitely check the sticky thread that is in the chat with this name class section there's guides on hotkeys uh how to like move your tunes around uh methodologies about how the pulling works and how to do hunter tanks and modes and all of that stuff we're not going to go through those sort of things here in this video we're going to go through stuff that is specific for mq2 paladin so we've got all the regular stuff you would expect. Things like use cures, uh, stick, you know, uh, burn all named, uh, different burn settings, etc., etc. So the Paladin stuff specifically, uh, we'll just go down alphabetical order. So use Active Valor. Um, Active Valor is this bad boy here. We sacrifice ourselves in order to transfer all of our remaining health to our allies within a hundred foot radius. You can turn this off if you don't want to use this. Um, we use this on the MA at the MA 30% health. Um, that's a non-adjustable value. Um, it's just like a, an oh shit emergency thing. Uh, Mem Splash. Now, I personally, I keep all of my Paladins with Mem Splash on all the time. Um, you can see what the, the, what the spell loadout mainly looks like. You know, this is 120 max AA, whatever. Um, this is what our loadout is. We don't have uh, loadouts as far as like spell set loadouts go. And originally I was going to do that and I had, I had stun, heal, a bunch of other bullshit, um, but it's not as applicable as you would think it would be or as applicable as say like a loadout for Shaman um, is. So uh, with BYOS and BOS custom, it pretty much covers any kind of specialty and gaps you might have. Um, and then we have the Mem Splash, which helps as well. Um, I, I spoke with a lot of paladins over the past two years that we've been uh, messing with this, and um, there's no real consensus on what stuff everybody uses, and people want to argue about, like, why and why not on the stuff. So I went through a whole bunch of different stuff, and I'm pretty happy with uh, the setup that we have and how it applies to uh, you know, most of the stuff that we do. Fortunately, with some of the body type changes that happened recently um some of the stuff has gotten even easier and uh and better for paladins paladins are in a great place i think paladins are super underrated i think they're they're an awesome class i wish some of their stuff cast it a little quicker like if you're manually playing it doesn't feel so great sometimes like stopping to do all the casting but they're an awesome class very underrated for boxing and power leveling because they also get res um but anyway so I leave Mem Splash on full time. Now there's a couple of cool things with uh, with Splash. We're gonna try and get your twin cast up and not waste it if your Splash is available, or if you have an event where you really want to save Splash only to cure. We have Splash cure only, um, and so you can turn that on, and then you'll only use Splash to cure. You won't use it for healing, and you won't use it to make sure that you consume healing casts. Um, uh, use disarm blah uh, brells 
Uh, we'll use the Brel Alliance for buffs. Now, Brels is one of the worst spells in like automation and in this freaking game for stacking. So it's defaulted to off. Um, if you turn this on and you end up with uh, chain casting or, or stacking issues or whatever, it's just kind of the nature for Brels. You'll need to figure out what you need to block. There'll be information on the frequent last questions on what do I do? Like one of them is I appear to be chain casting Brels or some other spell. What do I do? It explains you how to do that and block. Um, Divine Call, this is for aggro. We do this if we're tanking. Uh, this is like, it's not quite as cool as the SK, like get over here kind of scorpion spell, but you actually drag a mob around. It's really cool. It does not throw them up in the air, uh, but it has an option in case you don't want to use it for, you know, maybe wanting to sit there. Um, Hollowed, this is the AoE stun threat. Uh, has a crazy radius. We only use this while tanking. Uh, Hollowed Lodestar. It has, um, within a 40 foot radius. Did my note say it was a 200 radius? Oh, yeah, range 200. So we can use this up to 200 away with an AE range of 40. So then it would do 40 off of that. Um, and it's targeted AOE. I personally, I don't really trust, <laughs> I don't trust Daybreak with their ranges and shit and not stuff not going through floors and walls and mobs and all of that crap. Um, I personally leave this off, uh, but it's there if you do need um, some extra AA, uh, AOE threat and you don't mind, uh, don't mind having that turned on. Now, same with SK, there we have a built-in timer, so you don't just kind of blow both of your things all at the same time. Um, make sure you're cycling stuff through. Rock Leap, this has an option to turn it off in case you're underwater or you don't want to do something where you move. Like, for example, anytime I need to do something where I turn off stick on everybody, I also turn off Heroic Leap on anybody that has it. Um, at... Paladin's Heroic Leap is a little different. They jump and AoE threat, so they jump like 10 feet ahead. Where is it? Me. Does this count as a song for Svet? I think it does. Okay, so you leap 10 feet in front of your target, attract, attracting attention for eight opponents, 40 feet, blah, 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 blah. Kind of see what that is. Uh, lay on hands. Um, this is an option because some people don't want the plugin to automatically use their lay of hands and they want to save it for their emergency time. You just have an option to turn it on or off. It's used as a save. Uh, it's used as kind of like an emergency thing uh, to try and keep somebody from dying. Um, it's 20 minute reuse, so it may be something you want to save for yourself. Um, you know, uh, Mars Gift. Uh, these has options for Mars Gift Endurance and Mars Gift Mana. Um, or you can turn it off if you don't want to use it at all. Uh, if you don't know what Mars Gift is, this gives you a prayers, 10 minute reuse. It heals, uh, restores mana, and uh, gives endurance as well. Uh, Mars Salvation. This reduces the threat of your group members. Now, if we're tanking, we will click that buff off. So we will use the AA, which will give everyone reduced threat, and we'll click it off on ourselves because we don't want to give ourselves, like, threat reduction while we're tanking. Um, the nice thing about this, compared to if you were playing manually, is you don't have to block this spell. So if you are not tanking, meaning you're not in a tank mode and you're not assigned as group main tank, which means you're DPSing, it means you can throw this, you'll get the reduction, and if you go in a tank mode or uh, you get assigned as group main tank, you'll click it off. So you get the, the best of both worlds. This is one of those things that's like, because of automation and because of macro quest, you get something that's a little cooler than uh, if you were just raw dogging and playing it without any automation. All right, I uh, use penitence. Uh, so if on uh, you use the timer 11 disc instead of armor disc. So the difference between these two. Up. Uh, so let's do like, um, let's compare to, okay. So, um, uh, I, like okay so basically penitence is less absorption with but with healing and armor disc is higher level and 
absorption with a stun. Um, penitence, uh, just group heal, and this heals you and hatred. So it kind of depends on what you want. Gives you the option for timer 11 or not. This is another one of those things that some of it's situational and some of it's on personal preference. So we have the option there. You can use penitence over armor disc. Uh, use projection. This is the projection of Piney AA line. Um, this is going to throw a little doppelganger dude. Now it generates uh, a whole bunch of hate out the gate and then some hate over time. And then if he survives, uh, it'll transfer it to you um, after 15 seconds. Now we use this as like, a, you know, we're getting we're getting our ass pounded and we might die. So we're going to throw this in the hopes that it'll like buy us some time. Like, Little disposable hero, save me, please. Uh, remorse for the Fallen. Now, in current game, um, you're going to have Remorse of the Fallen in your uh, your DP Unity um, right here. But it's like level 75, and it didn't upgrade. So you don't get, you know, your Unity stuff until later. Um, so if you're lower level and you have um, remorse for the fallen you probably want to like that on so that allows you to uh to turn that off if you don't want that on um this isn't going to do anything if you're higher level because we're going to use our our dp uh, refresh it anyway uh use res uh i'll come back to that in a second use res stick um use symbol so this will be symbol over the ajo line uh, use X target buffing, use X target healing, same as like cleric. Use res and use res stick. Now, one of the annoying things with paladin uh, for group automation is we almost always have our group swapping if the main tank swaps or the, the main assist swaps their target. Now, if you're a paladin and you're like targeting someone to heal or you're targeting someone to res, you're, you're losing some uptime. Um, I really was happy with the fact that we can res, but it was also annoying when we would try and res if we also had another reser in the group. Um, and now we have like two or three goons trying to res the same dude. Um, the solution we have for that now, uh, and this might change, this might end up being like, uh, you know, uh, res watch or something. Right now we're using group watch in Paladin. It's the only, it's the only thing that group watch is used for outside of pulling is inside paladin right now group watch is set to healer this means while i'm in combat i'm only going to res a healer right so i'm only going to res a priest somebody's like why i have it set to healer and my beast lord isn't getting rezzed i'm i cry beast lord is not a healer um so if you have this set to crowd control and healer, it'll get all your priests and your bard and your chanter, um, self only, cleric only, blah, blah, blah. Now outside of combat, it's going to res anybody and everybody like you would expect. That's just to allow you to have a uh, different resing in combat. And like I said, it's possible that gets changed to res watch. Um, it's not going to be granular where you have like, you know, 75 options. You can click and like, oh, I want to res enchanters on Tuesdays bards on uh, full moons um, then you have the, the regular stuff here heals not ma heals ma um, I usually crank these settings down a little bit because I don't care about uh, like swapping to heal in regular combat uh, I think the de defaults are 60 so it's just it's a decent group setting um, if you're trying to crank out some stuff and just really trying to focus on your thing and you're confident in your healer and your healer's automation you can you can lower those like the not ma a little bit so you're not trying to um you know heal the power level dude who's getting AOE. and the the splash spell covers so much like splash is op it's oh, it's strong it's so strong um <laughs> the threat is great and the healing is great and it's just it's perfect for boxing perfect for boxing um we also have something called the uh AA timer two is the best thing I could come up with to call the damn thing. Uh, we have three AAs that use timer two right here. So these are divine stun, force of disruption, and disruptive persecution. 
Disruptive persecution. Uh, I have my notes. Uh, disruptive persecution is like 60k damage and 70k threat. So you see here 60k damage, 7k threat. The force of disruption uh, is uh, hate for 24k and interrupts. And the divine stun is pushes them back. 6,000 hate and attempts to stun. Now, I use mine, I leave mine on disruptive because it does the most damage and it doesn't push my targets back anywhere. Um, but this allows you to change which timer 2 AA you want to use. And because uh, that's going to be a little bit different depending on the content you're doing or what you're trying to do. Now, it casts your Yalt. Here's another note with stacking with this stupid game and with automation. Uh, the spiritual V line does not stack with Yalt. So you're going to get in a situation if you don't have your spiritual V line from Beast Lords blocked where they cast it on you, you use something that gives you Yalt. It is now removed the spiritual V. As soon as combat's over, your Beast Lord is going to go and buff your Paladin again. So... Uh, this is another good example of making sure you block that stuff. I have that mentioned in the frequently asked questions. This is pretty much all the settings. Let's hop over there real quick and we'll go through just some real quick stuff. I already mentioned this is going to be a premium plugin. Um, it'll the same thing with Necro. It'll probably be, uh, you know, in trial run for, I don't know, two to four weeks. Hopefully before next, uh, next, hopefully before next live patch, it'll be out for, for full release. Um, Swap targets too much, we mentioned that. I appear to be chain casting Brels, we mentioned that. Um, this is how to add block buffs. Um, so you either want to figure out if you don't want that character to have Brels, or you want that character to not have another spell and then block whatever that is um, to try and eliminate that. Some of that's personal preference. Some of that is like, look at the buffs. Um, there's a bunch of, there's several classes that have stuff like that, right? Where it's like, you get a little more hit points or you get a little bit more attack a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. You kind of got to figure that out on what's more important. Uh, why does my Beast Lord keep casting Spiritual V-Line? That's kind of what I mentioned there. I do explain it in, in, in Cleric video. Yalp is the same for Paladin Cleric as far as the Spiritual V. Um, do I need to adjust uh, or like assign what X targets for healing or X targets for buffing? Nope. Same as I said before. Are there pre-made loadouts? I mentioned that briefly. There are not pre-made pre loadouts and we will not be adding pre-made loadouts either. Um, there's too many like, ah, well I can use like my crush timer four, my crush timer six, or my force timer four, or force timer six. There's there's too much to have spell sets that make sense that cover the things without having 75 spell sets. So between the default loadout that we have and then uh, BYOS and BYOS custom, it covers all those gaps. I haven't really found anything that I've been trying to do where it's been like unplayably, uh, unplayably bad. Um, if you were trying to go for like pure healing or something, I mean, BYOS, BYOS custom, probably like, probably don't want to just be only healing, but maybe, you know, maybe your, uh, maybe your healers, your tank suck and they went on strike. What do you think about that? Good. Okay, so uh, so that's kind of Paladin, and uh, this video is a little quicker than the Necro video because I didn't read all of the stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that. So again, thank you very much. Hopefully we'll have this in the build today or tomorrow. Um, uh, let us know um, if there's anything broken or seriously, like, whatever. Uh, Paladins are another one of those classes that people are very passionate about, like, very, very passionate about. So... Um, I get that you may do things differently and, and whatever. Just keep in mind, like, what the goal is for the chat with the same plugins, which is, like, you know, pretty much plug and play, mostly out of the box, minimal setup, covers all scenarios, and does it well. Um, so. Um, all right, guys. Well, that was the Paladin video. I look forward to hearing from you in the discussion thread please make sure to check that sticky and uh things like the frequently asked questions and the commands tab i will talk to you soon